Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you a guide to the third C. This guide will show you how to level up the exact path you need and for how long you'll need to be there for. Before we begin, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. It really helps me out and it's absolutely free to do so. Let's get straight into it. First of all, I'd just like to say that the absolute best fruit you can use is Awakened Buddha. Yes, you heard that correctly. Not any Logia fruit, Awakened Buddha. This is because you are so big that the enemies can barely hit you, sometimes not even hit you at all, and you can just go and use your fighting style, sword, gun, uh, your fruit, whatever, and it's just really great. Let me just show you an example. I know I'm using Venom, but still, if they come try to hit me, they cannot. They're just standing there until they do their special move, but still they cannot hit me. Now that I have gotten that out of the way, Let's get on with the guide. So as soon as you have gotten to the third C, you will spawn right somewhere over there. Head over to this guy, the Pirate Port Questkiller. Talk to him. The first quest you would like to do is the Pirate Millionaire. That is level 1500, so you can do it as soon as you get here. Then once you are level 1525, you can do the defeat eight pistol billionaires. Then when you are level 1550, you can do stone quest. But if you're using Buddha, I wouldn't recommend server hopping and killing stone over and over again. It will just be much faster to kill the pistol billionaires. Stone is over there and has a really long spawn time, so I recommend you kill the pistol billionaires until you are level 1575. Once you are level 1575, you see that spiky mountain island thing over there? You have to head to that. There is your next set of quests. If you didn't know, right over here in the gap of the wall is the training dummy you can come talk to the arena trainer get a quest kill the training dummy and get free fragments and 40 million xp i think so as you can see right over here are the dragon crew warriors and here's the big stadium so right at the other side of this stadium there's this the amazon quest giver talk to them and get the dragon crew warrior quest it's level 1,575, and defeat them until you're 1,600. Some of them are over this side, well a couple, about five of them. And there's, I think, three over the other side of this arena, right over there. When you're 1,600, go back to the Amazon quest giver, there's a dragon crew archer quest for 1,600. Do that until you are 1,625. The Dragon Crew Archers are up this ledge and there's quite a few of them up here. You can just keep following this or use your sky jumps or whatever they're called to get up. There's about six of them up here. Once you're level 1,625, go all the way up the top of the island and go into the center. Right over here is the next quests. The area two quest giver. The first female Islander quest is 1,625. Some of them are right above here, over there, and I think like five more over here. When you are level 1,650, you can go back to the quest giver and get the giant Islander quest. As you can see, it's level 1650. Once you have gotten that quest, you can see all the roughly six giant islanders over here. 
Now, when you get to 1675, you will be able to do the Island Empress. As you can see right there, it gives a lot of XP, but it's not worth server hopping. So what I recommend to do is keep doing the giant islanders until the empress spawns. Every time she spawns, use the quest and kill her. And then go back to the giant islanders until you are level 1700. Once you are 1700, head over to the giant tree. As you can see right about over there, there's the shadow of a giant tree. Head in that direction until you get to it. Now I'm at the giant tree. You can come over here to the quest giver and get the marine commodore quest. It's 1,700. Once you've gotten the quest, they spawn right up here. As you can see, marine commodores. There's a couple more behind here as well. Once you are level 1725, you can do the Marine Rear Admirals. As you can see, it's 1725. They, instead of going straight behind it, kinda over this and under that one. You can see most of these here are Marine Rear Admirals, but don't let that deceive you. This one right here is a Marine Commodore. So you will not have to kill that one in your quests. Once you are level 1750, you will be able to do the Keeler Admiral quests. Now, with the Keeler Admiral, I recommend you do the exact same thing as you did for the Island Empress. Keep doing the quest just before it, until every time they spawn, she spawns right in here, and then get the quest, kill her, and then go back to the others. Once you are level 1775, you can go to the Turtle Island, which is right over there. It's like a floating turtle. All right, I am now at the floating turtle island. This is the entrance. You head through here, follow this path a little until you see that sign over there. Those are your first quests, the Turtle Adventurer quest. The Fishman Raider, as you can see, 1,775. Beat them up. They ride over here until you are 1,800. Then you can get the next quest, which is the Fishman Captain. They are right across over here. As you can see, it's a very close vicinity for both quests. Once you are level 1825, you can head to the next quests. The next quests are kind of where the quest giver is facing. You just follow the path that they are facing until you find this giant castle type thing. You can set your spawn point in the castle and this is where all the trading and fruits and stuff are to be done. But over here, past the castle, are your next quests. First is the Forest Pirate for 1825. They are right here, as you can see, Forest Pirate. There's quite a few of them. After the Forest Pirate, you can do the Mythological Pirate at 1850. Mythological Pirates are right behind here, as you can see. There's a wrecked boat, and here are all the mythological pirates. At level 1875, you can do the last quest here, which is the Captain Elephant quests. But again, same as the Kilo Admiral and the Empress, you can keep doing the mythological pirates, and then whenever the Captain Elephant spawns, you can kill him, get a free level, then go back to grinding on the other guys. Once you are level 1900, from the mansion follow the path straight ahead. As you can see that's a mansion and we're heading this way. Then we come up these rocks and over here is the deep forest area to quest giver. I know it's a very long name, 
So first you can do the Jungle Pirates at 1,900. The Jungle Pirates are where all these floating pineapple houses are. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. So you'll have a pretty easy time killing them, especially with Buddha. Then once you're 1,925, you can do the Musketeer Pirates. The Musketeer Pirates are slightly closer than the Jungle Pirates, but they're more annoying to kill because they are a little far spread out. One's in this house, which is hard to get to with Buddha, and the other two are up here in these outposts, which are also kind of hard to get to with Buddha. Once you are level 1950, you'll be able to do the beautiful pirate quest. This is a boss. The boss is over there in his hideout. To enter his hideout, you will need to be 1950. The beautiful pirate spawns right in here. But I would recommend you, like the last couple bosses, keep killing the last ones and the last ones here are the musketeer pirates until the beautiful pirate has spawned then you can kill him get tons of xp and then come back here and wait for him to spawn again then after doing that a couple times you will get to level 2000 then congratulations you've made it your max level If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.